It's the sweetest little town. I mean, you can tell it still needs work. You know, it's sort of coming back. Like, it's like perfect house, perfect house. And then one that's kind of not so great. This was the old opera house. I mean, it would be nice if the downtown came back a little bit, but I wouldn't want it to get too bustling. During the week when I'm working at the magazine, you know, I'm in a big gleaming office tower. But I get up here and all the stress falls away. I forget about deadlines. We totally live like neo-Luddites up here. You know, we have a record player, no cable TV. <laughs> and I have found that it's an easier way to live. It's a warmer way to live. That's my friend Callum. My friends James and Annalise. A sense of rootedness is important to me. So I like that I'm part of a community here. And my friend Brooks lives here. Brooks! Hi. Now that I know her, I can't leave. I can talk to you in a bit. <laughs> it's a little bit like a commune up here sometimes. And we've convinced about five different couples, maybe more, to buy houses in the town. So my friends Brian and Melissa are actually up here looking at houses to buy. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's so funny. Someone's like, oh, it's like Mayberry. And then they started calling it Sarah Grayberry since I'm convincing everyone to move here. It's a richer life. And what I love about the country aesthetic and how it translates to the country living line at Kmart is by its very nature, country is about eclecticism. The paint floors, the old fixtures. I mean, I think that's what good decorating is all about. If everything's all the same, there's no visual drama. But when something rough hits up against something smooth, it's interesting. So David, I'll give you a hug because I'm going to keep walking about. Yeah, I'm absolutely living the country, living aesthetic, at least on um, Friday nights, Saturdays, and Sundays until the crack of dawn Monday morning. <laughs>